Hello, hearty welcome to you. We are going through geometric progressions and let's look at this problem which is generally asked in exams. Find the sum of sequence to n terms where you can have 8, 8, 8. So the series, the, the series looks like 8 plus 88 plus 888 and it is continuing. So whenever you have problems like this instead of 8 it can be 5 also. You can have like 4 plus 44 plus triple 4 and it's continuing infinite or I have 5 plus 55 plus triple 5. For all these problems th there is only this is the solution what we are going to do now 9 plus 99 let us say that is 7 7 plus 77 because 9 is very easy 7 plus 77 plus 777 so all these type of problems this is the solution what we have to do okay now let's look at this sequence 888888 eight, 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 eight. you can see very clearly they are not in arithmetic progression they are not in geometric progression but certainly you can see that if you try to if you try to find out the ratio approximately between them i see that this is 11 and this is nothing but equal to 10 times so you see that there is some geometric progression involved somewhere we have to find it out so you can see that 88 by 8 is 11 whereas 888 by 88 is nothing but approximately something like 10 point something so it's a seems to be like a geometric progression but there is a st not straight we have to find it out so we have to manipulate it so what i will do first thing i will try to take 8 out and i will say this is nothing but equal to 1 plus 11 plus 111 and goes on up to n terms i will write 2 n terms okay now but this is also not helping us so what we will do we will divide by 9 and we will multiply by 9 if I divide by 9 and multiply by 9, if I multiply this whole thing by 9, what I will have? 9 1s are 9, plus 9 11s are 99, plus 9 into triple 1, that's equal to 999 up to n terms. Now, if you observe, this is easy now because you know that 9 you can write it as. you can write 9 as nothing but 10 minus 1 9 equal to 10 minus 1 similarly 99 is nothing but equal to 100 minus 1 that is nothing but equal to 10 square minus 1 and at the same and on the same lines 999 is equal to 10 cube minus 1 so you can see how many nines you have that is the power you have there is only one nine power is one there is two nines power is two there is three nines the power is 10 to the power of three minus one so i can do that now i can manipulate it and i can say this is nothing but equal to eight by nine into i will say that 10 minus one that is nine then 99 is nothing but 10 square minus 1 and 999 is nothing but equal to 10 cube minus 1. You agree with me, right? This way we can write. No problem at all. So this also I have to go for n terms. Right. Now, you can see very clearly there is a geometric progression. 10, 10 square, 10 cube is a geometric progression. So that's why I said it is related to geometric progression but may not be straightforward okay now we will separate these terms which are in geometric progression so i will write it as i will write them as 10 plus 10 square plus 10 cube so you have those terms after that i will have minus of should i say minus 1 into 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus how many times n terms this is also n terms only right n terms okay 
now you know the formula how to find out the sum of n terms so it is very simple now i can write it as 8 by 10 into now this is a geometric progression with a equal to 10 and r equal to 10 so what will be the formula a into r to the power of n that is 10 to the power of n minus 1 a into r to the power of n minus 1 by r minus 1 this is nothing but equal to the sum of the terms n terms of the progression 10 plus 10 square plus 10 cube minus of if I add one n terms what it will become it will become nothing but equal to n so this is nothing but equal to you can expand this and say 8 into 10 80 10 minus 1 is 9 9 into 9 is 81 so I can say 80 by 81 into 10 to the power of n minus 1 minus 8 by 9 into n that is nothing but the sum of this right now what happens very simple what happens if it is 5 or 7 instead of 8 instead of 8 you will have 7 instead of 8 here you will have 7 right because you are taking 8 out in the common in the f out in the first step itself so if it is 5 plus 55 plus triple 5 you will take 5 out that means wherever the 8 is there instead of that instead of this position you will have 5 or 7 remaining all problem will be same as it is so that's how you can find out sum to n terms of a sequence which is not in a geometric progression but you can convert that into a or you can relate it to a geometric progression by a slight manipulation what we have to do you have to divide and multiply by 9 so if you multiply by 9 and divide by 9 you will make them as 9 and 99 and 999 which you can write them as 10 to the power of 1 minus 1, 10 square minus 1 and 10 cube minus 1 respectively. Now you know the geometric progression how to find out the sum of n terms straightforward formula a into r to the power of n minus 1 by r minus 1 and when you add 1 n times it is nothing but equal to n. So that is a solution for this problem. So in the next session we will go through some special series and before that we will find out how to find out the sum of n terms or how to find out sum of terms like n square 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square and also cubes 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube we have we did this as part of mathematical induction you can refer to mathematical induction playlist for that but we will do it now in another way without mathematical induction thanks for visiting bye for now see you again